Hello there everyone, my name is Ayumu Kagami, and it's been a long day, so what better thing to do than dive into some video games. Let's take a look. Hmm, what should we play today? Portalands pre-sequel came out, Shadows of Mordor, what do we have on the upcoming? We have Bick, Raven, Duck, Duck Dynasty? No, that can't be. They wouldn't. No, Steam wouldn't let that go through. Oh, oh god. Alt, Alt, Alt F4. Alt F4! Alt F4! Okay, well, maybe no newer games for now. I, I have some old NES titles. I mean, we got Castlevania 3, Dracula's Curse, no. Super Mario Bros. 2, no. Oh. Dragon Warrior. This is uh, a gem from my past that I've never actually beaten, so let's take a chance to dive into Dragon Warrior. Alright, so let's slap the game right into our good old NES machine, and begin. Dragon Warrior! It was made by Enix in 89 for the States, so we gotta begin our journey, and as always, put your own name in as the hero, because this is what, you know, old NES games are all about. And now it's time to talk to the king. Descendants of Eredric, listen now to my words. It is told that in ages past, Eredric fought demons with the ball, ball, ball of light. And then the Dragon Lord, who stole the precious globe, hid it in darkness. It lights up everything. Now go forth! Get the ball of light and restore peace to the land. It must be defeated. Take whatever. Ah, cool! I get whatever I want in this castle! Uh, I want your armed guards, please. And speak to the guards. Yeah, okay, I want to speak to them so we can get them on our side. So one of the first things you may notice is that when you stop, there's a drop-down menu. And that's how you have to pick things up. Talk to people and everything like that. Now that menu can become a little frustrating as you have to stop moving, then push A, and then it will pull up the menu, and then you can talk, go down doors, search things, which is needed in a couple points in the game, and use your items and spells, which we'll get to later. Now that you have taken the gold from the king, it's time to arm yourself with mighty weapons, such as- Ooh, a bamboo pole! Gotta go with that one. We'll take the bamboo pole. <clears throat> And, uh, go slay yourself some monsters! Uh, er, slimes. Lots and lots of slimes. Now, just as a little warning, this game is exceptionally grind-heavy on trying to get levels up, trying to get gold. Gold may be the worst one, because gold, the items you get are very dependent on how much progress you can actually make, since the game is driven by its items. And, as you can see here, through this bits, the game has a lot of text in it, whether that be from critical hits, leveling up, or just defeating an enemy. There is plenty of stuff to be said, and if you haven't already set the speed to max, which you can't do in-game, if you did not do that when you started, it's time to go restart and do that, because you'll save yourself hours just by setting it to max. Each time you level up your character, you'll have certain stats increases. Stats increases are either your attack strength, so you can do more damage, extra health and magic, and extra movement speed, so you can attack first, not get first hit as much, and run away from battles more frequently. One of the things you will notice is that your defense does not increase. That is based strictly on the equipment that you have, whether it be your shield or your armor set. Without that, enemies will still do the same amount of damage. And then the other benefit of leveling up is that you get new spells. The first spell you get at level 3 would be the heal spell, and it's one of the most important spells in the game, especially for grinding and keeping yourself alive. Now for one of the most frustrating things about the game. If you're fighting and you manage to fall in battle or die, is a heavy price you must pay. Half of your gold. HALF of your gold. It doesn't matter if you have 10, or 10,000, you will lose half of your gold. And when the game is so dependent on you grinding up gold, this will drive you mad because you're so close to getting that new half plate armor or something like that, and you die and you lose 800 or 500 gold. It will drive you mad for just the sheer amount of time that you have to regrind to get your gold back. So be warned. Half. Done! I'm done! Get. Story time! 
So, you're on a quest to defeat the Dragon Lord, but because things aren't easy and that'd make way too short a game, you have to go explore the world, find everything you need to do that. But first, you must find out that you truly are the hero, because the king's word wasn't good enough. So go find a tablet in a random cave somewhere. That'll prove it. The tablet reads as follows. I am Erdrick, and thou art my descendant. Because anyone who reads it can be his descendant. Three items were needed to reach the Isle of Dragoons, which is south of... Reconnery. I gather these items reach the tower and defeat the evil creatures in great evil. EVIL! Now you have entrusted the items to three worthy keepers. The descendants will be protected and the items will be in the quest. Indeed, seek them out and we'll fight evil arise. Yatta yatta yatta. So you see how dark it is in there. It's, just, it's super dark. And if you don't use a torch, it's a one by one square exactly where you're standing where your light is. It's nearly impossible to get around, so you're going to want as many torches as possible. And later in the game, you're going to get a spell called Radiant, which will allow you to light up a bigger area, but it's going to keep costing you mana, which later on in the game is going to become a serious problem. Now that you've saved the princess, gotten the rainbow drop to form the rainbow bridge, and equipped yourself for battle, it's time to storm the gates. March forward and take down the evil dragon lord, Eredix Descendant versus the dragon lord. Place your bets, uh, bets, bets, anyone? I'll, I'll take your bets. Give me your money, please, thank you. So, if you weren't well prepared, this is the perfect time to do as much grinding as possible that you would need to catch up in levels. Also, hidden deep within the dungeon is Erdrick's sword, the strongest sword in the game, and it basically doubles the strength of the second best weapon. So, search for that, and then you'll have the full best set of equipment. You'll have Erdrick's sword, Erdrick's armor, and the gold sh I'm sorry, the silver shield. So, once you're equipped with that, it's time to face the Dragon Lord. This is it, everyone. The final battle. Me versus the Dragon Lord. That's right, Dragon Lord. You should totally be waiting for... I'm sorry, give you a chance to share the... rule the world with you? I... I, I can join you? Oh, hell yeah, I'm gonna join you. <laughs> I will have everything. <laughs> Power. Glory. <laughs> Only half of it is mine. That's okay. <laughs> What? If that dies, I can bring thee back. Come be everlasting! <laughs> the journey's over. Take, take, take. Where all my golden experience go? What? What just happened? Did I do? I have to. Everything's gone. No! Okay, well, apparently, fate doesn't want you to be the bad guy, because that's wrong and immoral. So I had to reset the game and get all the way back up to this point, so I could face off against the evil lord. Me and him, going toe-to-toe. -to -toe. I will kill him! I will make him tread every ounce of his life. <laughs> I mean, I'm the hero, so it's okay for me to be menacing about this, right? And I defeat him. It's a giant freaking dragon! So at this point, it becomes extremely difficult to fight off the Dragon Lord. Uh, as you can see earlier, I was doing a lot more damage, and now my damage is pitiful, like a wee little newborn babe. And I do have the strongest weapon in the game, and the highest defense you can possibly have, but I'm still getting wrecked. Level 30 is the highest level you can be in the game, so make sure you use that heal more spell as much as possible, or you will be absolutely destroyed. But, if you persevere, and try really, really hard, and reset the game several times because you're mad and salty that you lost your gold, you can defeat the Dragon Lord. And with him defeated, thou hast found the ball of light. Radiance streams forth as a hand touches the object and holds it. Across the land spreads its brilliance upon the shadows and banishes pieces restored. Woo, we did it! You've done it. You've saved the day, so let's see what our lovely princess has to say. That's okay, well, she'll tell us our experience. That's one of the nifty things when you save her, she gets that, and she tells me that she loves me. <laughs> but the legends have proven true. Thou art indeed the line of Erdrick. <laughs> it is thy right to rule over the land without take my place. Totally, yeah, give me. I, I mean, um, I thought about it carefully, and I said, I cannot. Because if I am to rule a country, I must find the, you know, gotta be my own land. <gasps> Gwalen! You wanna wait for me? You wanna come on my journey? Oh, of course you can travel with me, baby cakes. Yeah. Now, this right here is one of my favorite things in like all games is that 
you're actually carrying her in the sprite! That's so amazing! Uh, I lost the footage from earlier about it, but this is- It's so cute that you actually get to carry her, and you can actually walk around with that when you first save her. But that was it! Dragon Warrior, congratulations! Thou hast restored peace to the world! But there are many more roads yet to travel. May the light shine upon thee. We did it! We beat the game! Hooray! And it only took me like a thousand hours! <laughs> Dragon Warrior staff, I love you. So that was Dragon Warrior for the NES. It is an excellent game to play. Um, the grinding, a little too tedious and very frustrating. Um, being able to carry Gwendolyn is my favorite thing about the game and probably the most memorable thing about it. Uh, if you have a chance, I'd say pick up a copy of it. Uh, it's it, Do you like old NES RPGs? Go check it out. Dragon Warrior. Ooh, it's fantastic. Um, but definitely give this game a try. Uh, absolutely worth it. Um, now, now that I've finally beaten it, does it hold up to the past? Uh, well, I, I, I'm a smarter gamer. It was a little frustrating because I never set the text to max speed, and that's why I gave that warning earlier. Set it to max speed because it, the text becomes very tedious. And, uh, I mean, honestly, the way you sit playing it is just A-A-A-A. You're not even looking at it. Just battle. It's like, yeah, I'm going to kill this guy. Just A-A-A. Just to get through battle. So, very frustrating in that aspect. Um, definitely, I say, I'm going to give it my rating of look at it and play it. Um, not so much beat it because it's going to take you 100,000 hours to beat it. Um, I didn't keep track. I actually lost a big chunk of my footage. But I had over 9 hours of footage in it. And, I mean, it's, it's fun. A lot of time goes into it. Definitely check it out. Um... And everyone, have a fantastic night. I hope you enjoy. I'll be back with something else in the future.